Another week, another challenge. Welcome to round six of Power BI practice. Now in this challenge, we are looking into how to do chord analysis inside of Power BI to get more insights from your data. If you're new to our channel and you're looking for ways to improve your Power BI skills, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our challenges. Now let's get started. By just looking at your top level numbers, you might be missing out on some really important underlying trends. Now with chord analysis, you can reveal those trends. Now chord analysis just means that instead of looking at your data set as a whole, you break it apart. And so in this week's challenge, you take your customers and instead of looking at the aggregate of all of your customers, you break down these customers into different groups that share common characteristics. Now you're gonna perform core analysis on a fairly standard data set where we have sales and different tables with information on the customers, the different products that we're selling, and of course we have a date table. Now in the first step, you have to create a line chart or an area chart that shows the overall sales over time. And actually it looks pretty good. You see it's exponentially going up over time. However, if we add the total sales for new customers to this visualization, you see that something concerning is going on because the total sales of new customers is going down. So that means most of our sales coming from old customers. So to dive a little bit deeper, we're gonna create cohorts on the basis of the year in which the customers place the first order. Okay, so our business started off in 2015, so therefore uh, we have 100% from 2015 in this first column. And then for 2016, you see how much of our sales is actually coming from customers from one year before that. And the same for 2017 and 2018. And you see that this 100% stacked column chart really underlines uh, this first insight that we got from the first chart. And then we're gonna take it one step further and create cohorts on the basis of the number of orders that each customer placed. And we can use that in combination with the information on when the customer placed the first order so that we can recreate the chart that you see here. And if you want to get feedback or you need a little bit of help, then just let us know in the comment section below or reach out to us directly. And also make sure to give it a rating on how difficult you found this challenge on a scale from one to 10. This will help out future users a lot. Now, good luck and I hope to see you in the solution video.